I think I stepped on dog shit. That's fucking gross. Today, I have an interview for an internship. I did a phone interview at first. That happened. It was super simple, not really that difficult. But then they were like, oh, we still have so many people interview, so we'll let you know by the end of the week if you like, we want to interview again or not. Then I got an email that they wanted to meet with me in person, and I was like, <laughs> So yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I've been up since four in the morning, and we're gonna head over to LA right now. And I don't want to drive because I'm like kind of tired, so I decided to take the train there. A little something I'm kind of like concerned about is that they emailed me the address of like where I need to go for the interview. But I looked it up on Google because like I wanted to know where I'm going and like so I'm not lost and stuff. It turned out it's like an empty building. I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong because if I'm not wrong, I'm probably going to get kidnapped. R.I.P. to this vlog, you'll never see this footage if I get kidnapped. I got to LA. They changed my interview time, so now I have to wait till 2 p.m. I had already had to wait, and now I have to wait longer, so I have four hours to kill. I'm probably just gonna walk to kill time, to be honest. I'm on my way to Urban Outfitters right now because I ain't got money, but you know, I'm still out here spending, so. I'm doing right now is it's fucking loud every time i try to vlog it's fucking loud um but i left urban outfitters and then now i'm going to shake so i have to get a shake and to just sit because i've been walking for so long so i ended up at shake shack i got lost i don't know how i got lost but i did i never get lost but i got lost probably because i haven't slept i'm gonna sit here for a while then I'm probably gonna walk to Fit and then hopefully you got killed sometime. Currently at Fit right now. I walked from Shake Shack to Fit because I just wanted to sit somewhere and I knew that Fit has like a bunch of like benches and stuff like right in front of their school. Like so I decided to come here and sit and wait for two hours. I'm probably gonna watch fucking Netflix or something because I need I'm just I just can't like I wanna go home, like I am so tired, like <laughs> I just got done with my interview. I think it went good. I hope it went good because... There. I'm kind of like... Exhausted but ready to go. But I tend to be pretty good with communication with people. Like I'm not like really like... You know, awkward and stuff. So that was fun. I am waiting for my Uber to go home now because... I want to go home and sleep. I'm tired and I've been lazy but yeah I think the interview went pretty well I mean I'm not gonna lie like I really wasn't nervous I'm not trying to be like a cocky bitch but I mean, it is what it is this is an interview I mean like I like if I don't get this like I'll be perfectly fine so I just got home I'm tired like and like I can say I'm tired because I just haven't been home or at school it's just I genuinely did a lot today and I'm like what the fuck, like it's barely four o'clock, like I'm usually not this productive, but just on the way home, the Uber that picked me up was literally like the nicest person ever. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. I basically interviewed for a private label that specializes in denim and they have their own brand and they also manage other brands. I just interviewed for like an intern position to like learn and stuff. So the interview questions were really 50-50. So 50% were regular interview questions that you would hear probably any other job that you would apply for regarding how do you deal with stress how are you with organization skills like getting to know you type of stuff and the other 50 were really more regarding the brand itself and a lot of social media influencer and marketing strategies and they also asked me questions regarding my knowledge of like editing software and with the social media aspect they asked me a lot of questions more towards how did I feel of paid advertisement like in ads and like seeing ads on my on my feed like that I skipped through it like how, what was my reaction as a consumer to improve the brand I felt like and when it got to the influencer stuff they were older than me obviously because I'm pretty young I guess a lot of the stuff that I was bringing up I really had to kind of elaborate a lot because obviously there's the age gap and obviously you could tell that a lot of the influencers that I was talking about and a lot of like the things that I was bringing up they weren't really I don't want to say aware of but they didn't really have a lot of knowledge of it so that's kind of where things got like a little interesting but it was still fun and honestly 
this is all really a learning experience so if I don't end up getting this it's perfectly fine because it's still gonna be a win-win because now I have knowledge for the future so if I do decide to interview for any, any other position or if I do want to get a job in that field like I have an idea of where the question is going to gravitate towards so yeah I'm going to end today's video here because I am tired and I'm probably going to take a nap goodbye <laughs> I hope I didn't cause like that's fucking gross.